Look at most any picture of Budapest and that's uh, what you're gonna see right there. The chain bridge, the iconic chain bridge here in Budapest. It is really a beautiful evening here. It's uh, early, early November and I'm on an evening walk along the, uh, the Danube here. I'm on the Buddha side of, of Budapest. And I thought I would share the uh, share the bridge with you, share this iconic bridge, the, the chain bridge with you as I walk along on the bank of the Danube here. And I'm going to just bring you along and actually walk across the bridge with you. Give you the, uh, there's the parliament just off behind the, the bridge there you can see. But I'm going to just walk along the, uh, walk along the chain bridge and and bring you along as if you were here yourself on this a uh, little bit of a chilly chilly uh, early autumn evening so the chain bridge is one of oh I think seven or eight bridges that connect Buddha with past or past with Buddha depending on how you want to look at it but uh, the chain bridge probably is the most iconic of all the the bridges that span the uh, span the Danube here, and this bridge here on uh, each end of the bridge there are uh, statues of, of lions that are that are holding the uh, holding the bridge to the banks. I believe that's the symbol symbolism of the lions. That they're holding the uh, holding the bridge to the banks here on the on the Danube. So I'm gonna just go walk across the bridge. I'm sure that uh, when I do videos, I oftentimes like to do a video that uh, just kind of gives you gives you a uh, a good view or a good experience as if you were here yourself. A lot of people would be. A lot of people would actually be uh, interested to see this, I would think. And then just under the bridge there, you see a, a cruise boat coming along. And all, all along the Danube, you'll see these, these boats. And you'll see barges. See if we can see what's uh, going on on this boat here. Looks like a, maybe a dinner cruise. Look at that. They're doing something on there. Looks like a dinner cruise. City cruises. See? Beautiful, beautiful. Alright. So we'll uh, continue to walk along and just uh, get to the other side of the bridge. We'll be able to see the, see the Parliament building. And all of its uh, all of its splendor. At times, at times when I've been here in Budapest, you see the the Danube River will will rise up, and uh, the Danube will rise, and the water level will get almost up to the to the bridge itself. There's a it's a beautiful view. Look at that. Fantastic. And just up ahead you can see one of the one of the lions there. I believe what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to try to walk I'll walk under the under the bridge and come up on the other side so I'll have a better view. They call this Secheni Secheni Lands Landshid Landshid. So Cheney Lanz hit. You can see the the spelling there. Maybe I can give you a nice profile of the of the lion. Look at that. Wow. 
Wow. So we'll go and uh, walk underneath and then come up on the other side. Oftentimes when you come through these tunnels there'll be somebody playing a, a violin, like a street performer or what have you. Okay. So here we come out onto the other side and you're greeted with a view of the beautiful parliament. So we'll come up and go up the steps. This really has been a nice trip for me. Started back on September 17th and here it is going almost two months later. There is the there's the castle that's called Castle Hill up there and there is the there's the castle. You ever seen the uh, video with Katy Perry uh, fireworks or whatever it's called? They actually filmed that up there. Okay. There's a, a roundabout. I used to take the number 105 all the time. I think it was the 105 or the number 16 through the uh, through that tunnel right there. But here we are on the, here we are on the uh, other side of the bridge. You can see that lion right there, and here's one of his uh, one of his companions. Actually, zoom in on on him. Look at that. That's something. What a nice shot. Wow. Wonderful. All right. actually a uh, inscription here on the, on the wall. There's a, look at this, for those of you uh, engineers out there, look at that. Whoops, the camera had a uh, little stabilization issue. See if I can get the, get the camera back working. Okay. Actually using what's called a, a Zion crane stabilizer to do this this video. And here I'll give you a nice view here of the parliament. Look at that building. How could you ever tire of that view? Look at that. I actually did a video of that building two or three weeks ago. It's magnificent. That really is one of the more beautiful buildings in the world that you'll ever see. It's actually on the top ten of TripAdvisor's uh, tourist attractions in the world, I believe. Top five in, in Europe. But uh, we'll get back to the back to the bridge, back to the the chain bridge that is. So I walk along. I always find myself when I'm not in Budapest wishing I were, and uh, doing exactly what I'm doing right now. Which is walking across the walking across the 
the bridge here. I don't know if I can share that with you here. Let's see, maybe I can. Look at that. They sure like lions. You see? Wonderful. The bridge actually shakes a little bit as you walk across. And that down there would actually be Margaret, Mar Margaret Hid. Just down over, over there you can see Margaret Island. That would be uh, Margaret hit over there. You can get off mid-span on the number four, number six, and go over to the uh, Margaret Island for a nice picnic or or some uh, exercise. And then just up here, it's probably one of the more beautiful churches that you'll ever visit in the world. This church here, St. Matthias Church, is nothing short of spectacular. That church right there is definitely a must-see. If you come to Budapest, you can see the the tiled roof on that bridge, and there's the steeple, I think you'd call that. All right, here comes yet another another cruise ship. Let's see what these folks are doing. Probably another dinner dinner cruise. That actually looks like a catamaran. Okay. There's the phone number if you want to give them a call. Nice view of the of the tower. I don't know if there are people uh, make a habit of jumping off of the bridge. I know if Skip Smith from the villages was here, I might be tempted to push him over. Your, uh, there is your walk across the chain bridge here in, in Budapest, Hungary. And there's Galliard Hill just, uh, just over there. On the other side of the tower. Probably one of the more romantic cities that I've ever been into, been to, I should say. Yes. All right, folks. So have a uh, have a wonderful day, wherever you may uh, find yourself, and whenever you may find yourself watching this this video of the chain bridge here and in Budapest.